Hello everyone and welcome back to another positive review. Today we're going to be looking at Cybertron Ultra Class Scourge. He has released this well, part of uh, Wave 1 of the 2005 Cybertron figures. Known designers are uh, Shogo Hasui of Takara Tomi. He uh, was released in the fifth wave of Galaxy Fourth product under the name Flame Convoy, though he had some alternate plastic colors and decorations. In the 2005 Transformer or Cybertron cartoon, Gorge was the leader of the Cyber Planet, or of the Beast Planet, excuse me, and the holder of the Beast Planet key. Accessories he comes with the gold Beast Planet Cyber Key. Code on the back is U2M8. He also comes with his really nice uh, tail slash axe. And uh, he's just a really cool figure. He uh, is a really unique, kind of cool, um, almost Predacon-ish color, color scheme with the uh, various dark metal, gunmetal grays and oranges with the highlights of yellow and red and accents of purple. The really cool face sculpt. Zoom in on that. It's got his little teeth and kind of bestial face with his green eyes and nice purple paint. Um, I really love the gradient on the yellow to purple. Um, I, my doc, my love for purple and yellow is well documented on my other YouTube projects, and uh, it's an underappreciated color mix in my opinion. And I really just love how it pulls regalness into him. Um, without it, I think he'd be very much a just Predacon um, type color scheme. But with the purple, it adds in the regalness to make him a much more of a king of the jungle type um will adding to his decepticon nature even though he didn't really really stay at decepticon in the show um i love the detailing um of the techno organicness um of just the organic lines mixed with the uh, techno detailing and just the plethora of molded detail we'll zoom in on just all the uh, different molded detail that's included in them. Stands really well. Um, I love how he has like the tribal kind of skirt look and everything like that. And uh, I really like the bold brushes of red on the shoulders and the head and the knees. But uh for size comparisons in his robot mode, we have Leo Breaker here. And we have one of his minions. Actually one of my favorite figures of all time. Mentioning the yellow and purple deluxe class brimstone. You can see the difference between the Ultra, the Voyager and the deluxe and just to round it out there's a, a bot shot next to him he holds his uh, axe right there yes kind of sling it across um, his cyber planet key can be plugged in back here to activate these two shoulder dragons. A nice dose of a uh, Hasbro silver paint on there. Um, his get one that's working. Um, it has working batteries. He has a button back here that will um, do various sounds in the different modes, but unfortunately, mine's dead. As for transformation, start by flipping these heels in. You want to pull back the dragon heads. Then you'll take his robot head, spin it around, and pull it down. And pull the dragon head up. You take a little loincloth, fold that down, 
pull it up and fill in the dragon trust. Then you'll slide the hips down. Then rotate the robot shoulders, fold them in, and take the flap up, fold the fist in. Again, fold it flat, rotate it, open open that cubby, fold in the fist, and that quick Moses dragon mode. Then you take his tail button, fold this around. Plug it in, and there you have his dragon mode. And he's quite imposing. He's a big, beefy bot in this mode. You can see how royal those colors. Again, that purple's doing the work of uh, really making him come across both bestial as the Color scheme really makes you think that you're in Transformers, you know, beasts because of the Predacons. Um, and uh, then to add the purple, it's very, it communicates that he's the king of the beasts. Um, he, uh, so opening mouth, um, rotation at the shoulders, rotation here, ratchet there, pointable toes. Nice movement in the hips, knee, action, swivel, and swivel, and that. A very ratchety boy. And take the key, activate triple headed dragon mode. Yeah. Size comparison in this mode. There he is next to the Leo Breaker mold. This is not Nepsis Breaker, obviously. So, there he is next to a Voyager class. There he is next to Scout class. Of Undermine, I think, is his name. So, nice and beefy. Um, another comparison next to his. Uh, Later repaint of Cryo Fire Scourge. Um, let's see where they did a ice aesthetic versus the fire aesthetic. Um, but yeah, he's a really cool figure. Um, he's uh, a very interesting character in the cartoon. Um, I really personally like the um, big sister or big brother, little sister dynamic he eventually develops with Lori, even if it is kind of silly. And yeah, he um, just a really cool character and plays an interesting role in um, that show. Um, and a uh, very cool figure to back it up with a lot of beef, a lot of chunk, and a a lot of articulation um but uh that'll be it for this uh positive review if you like um this format check out my other reviews i try to focus on uh underappreciated or lesser reviewed figures but yeah thank you bye